Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm here with James today, and we're going to be teaching you how to properly split a Smoke Creek driveway layer for the, uh, the, the experts. So we took this block and we took it off one of the piles. It's easier to get the block away from the piles so you can work with it better. Um, that also helps if you do find something and it happens to break off the rock, it's easier to find. You don't have to dig through a bunch of the chips of the other rocks. It's uh, just a lot easier to, to work with that way. So, I'll take it away. Yeah, John's gonna get started here. The first step we're gonna do is just take the chisel with the bigger hammer, put a kind of dead center right in the middle of the block and try to split the block right in half. A thinner chisel, one that's about one inches wide, uh, is a little bit easier to split those blocks. So as you can see, the block broke right in half. Um, and the fossils will be usually right on the split. So you can see there's a couple corals, brachiopod that popped out, there's a couple pieces of trilobites and some various other things. Um, now you're going to want to split it down further than this, right? So we're going to want this entire rock at the end to be about pieces that size. So Jonathan's going to do the same thing again, put the chisel right back in the middle of the other piece here. And a lot of them you can see they're weathered, so they're going to already have show you where to put the chisel. There's a lot of cracks in it already. When you run out of room where you can't split anymore, you can always just flip it over. And if it's having trouble standing up, you can take a piece that you already broke off or a piece nearby and wedge it under there. And that keeps it upright and sturdy. And you just continue the process. Splitting it down like that. Now, once you have them in pieces, the small, even a little bit bigger, that's when you switch to your rock hammer and you work it down, same concept, use the flat end of the chisel, you can even use the back end. To work it down even more, always check the cross section, because there could be a roll of trilobite, there could be something else in there that you can miss, so always check those. And if you split out a trilobite and it's missing some shell, a lot of the times that just ends up in the impression, so make sure when you guys are collecting, keep both the positive and the negative of all your trilobites. Then you just continue that process until you can't split it down any further and then you move on to your next block and uh yeah that's pretty much it we hope to see you here at dig with the experts june 8th and 9th and it should be a good day we have a lot of material for you guys to work through as you can see this is just one little section and and over to the other side of the site we have a lot of material that you guys will be